Yo, in this video we will go through the WAX account system. Very important to understand if you ever plan to use the WAX blockchain. So let's dig into it. I have prepared some drawings and, and text. So the WAX account system, the first thing to understand is you have an account name. Your account name on the WAX blockchain is immutable. That means it cannot be changed by anyone at any time. With your account name, you have different private and public key pairs that has permission to use your account. This is understand because the permission to use your account, these keys can actually be updated and you can grant someone else permission or you can have different keys for yourself, for different devices or different setups to increase security of your account. On WAX, this account system are usually, you will experience two different ways, your self-managed account and your cloud account. The difference here is that the cloud is a custodial wallet run by the WAX team and your account name with your cloud wallet will be uh, something.wam like this one here. So uh, it will not just be stars, it will be some kind of characters like uh, aaaa.wam or whatever it is. Uh, that, this account name is the name that you use to receive funds if you want to withdraw them from an exchange, if you want to get some NFTs, if you want to send it to someone else. With this cloud wallet, you actually also have a self-managed account that you can activate and then it's created. So it's a completely different account and a self-managed account is actually where you control your keys yourself. So if you lose your private key that is associated with your public key, you actually lose access to your account and there is no way that you can ever recover that. The cloud wallet, to create the cloud wallet, you actually use your social login and then you set up a 2FA. You should always have a good 2FA with any account because that is how you make sure that there is not just a password associated with your account, but you actually need to have a different device with the 2FA that you can log in. And don't use a SMS one, but actually use something like Google Authenticator, a YubiKey or something like that. Uh, Worth adding, the Cloud Wallet is a 100% a regular account, nothing weird except that you do not control your private keys. So if you have a lot of value, also create a self-managed account where you actually control everything yourself. Self-managed accounts are characters based the one to 12. So you can have a name that is 12 characters long, that is the standard one. And then you can have something called a premium account where you can actually name bid. So you, there's an auction and every day one account name can be sold to the highest bidder. And that account could be anything from one to 12 characters long, like the WAM. This is actually a premium name that is able to create shell accounts. Shell accounts are full account names. The only difference is that it's created by this premium name and that's why it's called a shell account. Uh, so premium names, your self-managed account can be any 12 characters, A to C, one to five. So that could be like, I have one called the WAX community, which is a proxy that you can use to vote. So your self-managed account, you, you control your private keys asso associated with your permissions. You have two different kinds of permissions by default, which is the owner key and the active key. The owner key is your admin key. The admin key is your most precious item in any self-managed account. So your owner key can do anything on your account. It can actually update the permissions of the owner key so it can change to a new key. It can add more keys. It can add multi-sig options and things like that. The active key can do anything that the owner key can except change the owner key. And that is very important to understand because if you add your 
Active key to a device that get compromised, it crashes, get hacked, get lost, whatever. You can update the key with your owner key that you keep safe or with another active key that you also keep on another device. You can update and you can remove access. So if you lost your, your mobile that has access to your account, you can just update, change it. And the mobile, whoever founds it, finds it, cannot access your WAX account. That is very good. You can also create custom permissions in your WAX account. Uh, and the custom permission could be that you, this permission, so you add a private key, a public key associated with a private key to your custom uh, permission. And this could be, for example, associated with atomic assets. So it can create NFTs in atomic asset, but that permission cannot do anything else. So you can actually give that key to someone. The only thing they could do is create assets with your account name, which also costs RAM. So there's, they can use up all your RAM, but that's it. So they can actually do that, which is a good way. If you have a team, you have multiple users um, and you want to be able to create NFTs on, on simple assets or play a game or whatever, you can actually set the custom permission to do anything with any contract on WAX. Uh, great thing. Your self-managed account, to access that, this and to use it, you need to have some kind of wallet. I have listed a few wallets up here that you have as an option. There are more available and there will be more coming. Uh, in your wallet, worth understanding is that your wallet never holds any tokens, any NFTs or anything. No wallet ever holds anything except the private key that you enter. With this private key, the wallet pulls down your data because it finds your account name that is associated with your key and it can show your information. So it doesn't down, you don't have it in the wallet, it just shows your information. And with this wallet, you can actually go to the blockchain and sign a transaction to send assets or interact with some kind of contract like create NFTs or whatever. So a wallet is your way to actually access the blockchain, but your wallet do not hold anything. The only one that is a bit different here is the ledger. The ledger, the, the why this is different is because it's a hardware wallet. A hardware wallet is something like a USB stick. This is a ledger uh, where your private key, this one that is the secret key, you have your public key and your private key. The secret key is this private key. So this is the secret key. And actually the ledger hides this private key even from you, which means that no one can get your private key unless they have access to this device or you sign a transaction in a malicious site. Uh, so your hardware wallet could be the ledger. There are also other options. It's a very secure way to, for you to self-manage your account. Uh, so your cloud wallet can actually create the similar account WAA and then you can actually use a public key that you can find in your ledger and you can add it to this account. You can update the permission. So the ledger is the one that has access to your account. This way you have created a cold storage. So if you want to know how, how to do that, just check the, the top last oh, far over here. You can click the link and you can actually uh, learn how you set up a, a, um, a cold storage for your assets. So I hope this didn't confuse you too much. I will just walk through this one more time. On WAX, there's one type of accounts. The account name is what's important. The account name is immutable. It cannot be changed by you or by anyone else. On your account, you have different permissions. Permissions is a private key and public key pair that you can give access to do different kinds on your account. By default, you have your owner key and your active key. Owner key is your admin key. This is, should be treated as your most valuable asset in any self-managed account. And then you have your active key, the one that you use to transfer uh, assets, transfer tokens, or interact with the blockchain. The cloud wallet on WAX is a custodial wallet, which means you do not control your keys. You just set up your account with a social login and a 2FA. On your self-managed account, you control your private key and public key. If you lose these keys, you lose your account. There's no way to recover it. There is also an option to hardware wallet, which is a device that stores your private key. This device can be recovered by monomic phrases. If you want to know what that is, just go and learn about the hardware wallet. 
Uh, so this is the account system on WAX. Immutable account name. Account name is what you use to transfer and receive funds. Uh, cloud wallet, custodial wallet, self-managed account is what you use if you want to control your private and public key and you trust yourself. If you are not used to control your keys, get the hardware wallet to store all your NFTs of high value or if you have a lot of wax, store that also in a ledger. That's it. Very simple in reality. Go through this video a few times and learn it. It's not that hard to understand. You have your cloud wallet and your self-managed account. You have different permissions that can be updated. More on that in another video. Peace over and out.